with the building on Waco Street uh, partially burnt down, a 2021 ordinance allows the city to come in and demolish it. Our Ryan Jaime refreshes our minds about the ordinance, hears from people on the North Beach, and has their thoughts. It was when the second half of this night's in on North Beach went up in flames that sparked some change for some rundown buildings. But is it enough change? In August 2021, City Council passed an ordinance stating that if a building presents imminent danger due to a sudden act like fire, vandalism, flood damage, the city could demolish it after giving notice to the owner. I think it's the way it should be, and I compliment the city manager for pushing that through. After a portion of the Knights Inn Motel was damaged by a fire in the spring of last year, City Council took action to pass the ordinance. As it makes the neighborhood safer. Uh, we are able to uh, protect uh, the values of property values and uh, it encourages uh, development. Ronald Graben is a resident of North Beach. He thinks long-standing vacant buildings are a problem as well, citing the area on the west side of the Harbor Bridge. The property owners are absentee and they just let the property um, sit there. They don't mow the grass, they don't uh, trim the trees and it really is an eyesore. Uh, so all of those things, if they could get cleaned up, would make uh, this just a much better neighborhood. Nonetheless, Graben is a fan that the city is taking action and decided to build a new home on North Beach. I've been dragging my feet whether to build and put the investment into North Beach. And the recent decisions by the city that have encouraged uh, the development of North Beach finally uh, made me realize it's a good investment. On the opposite side, people may not demolish structures because of the cost. According to HomeAdvisor.com, the average cost to demolish a 1,500 square foot home is between 3000 and 18000 to view the full ordinance, you can head to KZTV10.com. Reporting on North Beach, Ron Hammy, Action 10 News.